In this video, I am going to show you the steps that you need to, to solve proportions. First, I'm going to start with some vocabulary and the properties, and then in um, the next couple of minutes, you'll see a few examples. So the first thing that I want to do is fill out some of these blanks that we have, and it says a proportion is an, and I want you to put the word equation. And that equation will state that two ratios Two ratios um, or fractions are equal and so what you're going to see is a fraction equal to a fraction now in order to solve a proportion you need to cross multiply so here's the property of proportions here it says reciprocal property if two ratios are equal then their reciprocals, if they exist, are also equal. So notice how in this example with letters, but here with numbers, two to three is equal to four to six. It's the same if you flipped both of those fractions upside down. So three to two, notice that got flipped upside down. And then again, your four to six got flipped to six over four. Now here it says the cross product property. The product of the diagonals Products means multiplication, so the multiplication of the diagonals are equal to each other. And this is how we are going to solve our proportions, and that's going to be by cross-multiplying. So notice how AD multiplied together will be equal to BC multiplied together. And with that same example that we had up above, if we multiply 3 times 4, we're going to get an answer of 12. But notice that is the exact same as if we take 2 times 6, you also get 12. So now for the couple examples that I'm going to go through with you here, um, I'm going to start with this example. So again, cross multiplying. So there's one. Now here's another. So if I take 2 times w, that will equal 3 times 3. So what I want to do is multiply the 3 times 3, which would give us 9. And if I divide both sides by 2, I get w is equal to 9 halves, which is the same as 4.5. Now, in the next example, if I were to cross multiply, I would have 16 times x is equal to 4 times 12. So if you need to, get out your calculator, go ahead and do that. But 4 times 12 is 48, and 16x will be equal to that. So now if I divide both sides by 16, I get an answer of 3. Okay, now watch when we have something a little bit more complicated. So my diagonals multiply together. I'm going to have... 6 times negative 1, and that will equal 3 times the group x plus 8. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6, and if I distribute my 3, I'm going to have 3x plus 24. Now to solve for x, what I need to do is subtract 24 on both sides. Now I'm going to have negative 30 is equal to 3x. And if I divide both sides by 3, I'm going to get negative 10 is equal to our x. If you want to, pause the video and try this one and see if you get the same answer that I do. Okay, so if we cross multiply here, I'm going to have 2 times 5 for one of the cross products. And then 1 times the group 2x plus 1. So now I need to distribute my 1. Well, if I distribute 1, I'm going to get what I had, 2x plus 1. And that's going to equal 10. So now if I subtract 1 on both sides to get my x term isolated, I'll have 9 is equal to 2x. And if I divide both sides by 2, I'm going to get 4 and a half is equal to my x. Or you could leave it 9 over 2.